these sound bites, I think, sum up yesterday's horrible uh, press uh, conference by Joe Biden. Uh, we start with uh, him trying to find his place and figure out who he's going to call on. Okay. Um, hang on. Uh, um, okay. Sorry. Okay. Oh. Oh. Sing me, Miss Kim. And that happened not just once, but I on five or six occasions. Then in, I've never seen this before, in mid-sentence on an answer, he's, his brain just shut down. So I'm going to say something outrageous. I have never been particularly poor at calculating how to get things done in the United States Senate. So the best way to get something done, if you, if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to uh, anyway. Anyway. Okay. I, I, we're ready to get a lot done. And yeah. if we have to, if there's complete lockdown and chaos as a consequence of the filibuster, then we'll have to go beyond what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. Um, there you go. Uh, yeah, that's yep. Okay. Leading Sorry. into that. So, but again, just completely lost, lost his thought, his brain sputtered or shut down or something. That was, to me, uh, if I'm an adversary of the United Rubbing States. Rubbing your hands together in glee, man. Safe Retirement Solutions is there to help you with retirement questions and planning results. Build a better retirement. Call Rod Barrowe, president of Safe Retirement Solutions, today at 410-266-1120. That's 410-266-1120 or on the web at Safe Retirement Solutions. And, of course, then this, the way he exited the stage yesterday. Help solve the problem or make, make the situation better. But, folks, I'm going. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, hello, folks. I'm gone. I'm gone. He's gone. I mean, you know, it's. It, I, I watched uh, one forensic psychiatrist yesterday saying the mixing up of the words, you know, look, that can happen to anybody. He said, uh, uh, help is here and hope is on the way instead of vice versa. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I find the whole thing comical. And part of what I find comical is I was talking to a couple of friends uh, on the political left yesterday, and their attitude continues to be, Sean, they don't care. They don't care. All they wanted was Trump gone. They don't care if somebody has to follow this guy around with a spit bucket with a tag written on his clothes so they can point him back to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. All they wanted was Trump gone and to do away with anything that Trump did, good, bad, or indifferent. They don't want Trump's name on anything. Uh, they just wanted him gone. So they're and okay with America now projecting yes. weakness. They're yeah, care of a, absolutely. watching a feeble... Uh, old man and the early signs of dementia unravel before our eyes cannot be a good thing for the for the United States of America. I don't care what your political stripe is, unless you are seeking to destroy what has been built over 240 years. I asked that question. I said, "Are you okay then with our our adversaries, our adversaries rather rubbing their hands in glee uh, after this thing?" And they said, "I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. That's Trump derangement syndrome. Yeah, what it is." <laughs> 